Yeah. Sometimes you just got to move on. I mean, got to hit that old country road and find a new main. But he makes I, it I work, right? I did see him playing some other characters as well. Oh, really? What's he playing? Man. I saw him pull out an inking against Razo. Okay. Yo. All but, right. You know, respect. He's got you, the top tiers. Uh, respect, though. If you want to play your, you know, character that isn't very good, uh, but you know, if they're your favorite character, play them. But understand, you should probably have a secondary that's very <laughs> good too. <laughs> Speaking of two, for very all their good bad matchups. <laughs> Ganon main with, we're all Ganon main with a Mana Knight secondary for all those bad matchups, right? Yep. Exactly. I'm a Pichu main at heart. I'm a melee Pichu main at heart. <laughs> but I play Marth for all the bad matchups. Exactly, but speaking of two very good characters with a good matchup spec, we have Razo and T3 Dome playing the Daisy and the Richter. That's right. And just look at the flowchart that we see coming out from Dome. It's quite different than uh, yeah. what Nitro is putting out. The ledge traps are a little bit of the same, but that's just because that's kind of the ledge trapping I would expect from just about any Belmont. You know, Axes, Holy Waters, Holy, Holy Cross. But when, when these two are back on stage, back in neutral, just the approach, we see like a lot more high holy crosses and then uh, less holy waters, more aerials. Yeah, Dome doesn't want you to approach him from the air. Do not try and jump in on him and do not be in the air at all because he will jump up there and forward air you. <laughs> That's right, take this and take this forward air as well. Oh, it's an up tilt, okay. I great cross toss once again. Back goes him off stage. Razo looking to end this stock right now. Almost gets the snipe with the turnip, but not going to find it. Dome still going to be able to recover. Mm -hmm. Razo isn't going off stage. Floating, just covering the, really the, the path that Belmont would take in the tether recovery. Yeah, but the hitbox of up is too big for him to just be there or beat out his options. That's true. So I think he's just looking to try and get the edge guards with the turnip that he, well, he can safely do it. Okay, well, another act connects, and now we find Razo at 115%. Great parry right there. Oh, the Toad coming in and protecting Peach, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta protect High too. Yeah, and Razo looks like he could be using some protection uh, from T3 Dome right now because he is really starting to fall behind Dome with a pretty solid two sock lead. Okay, more damage on uh, Razo's shield, and ooh, the Holy Cross getting sent back because of Clank with the down air. Ooh, that's gonna be a good that's fish. That's exactly what Razo needs to be, or where he needs to be, saying, I'm just gonna go out there before they can get low enough to up me into the ledge, and just spare them, kill them at 70%, and bring myself back into this game. Okay, well, we see more back airs and forward airs coming from Dome. And there's the forward air, but the cross coming back around, forcing Razo into shield so he can't go down there and mess with Dome anymore. Oh, we caught him. Also got caught by something. My great chase with the down air into the back air with the holy water into the forward smash. It is going to be the stock, and that's T3 Dome taking game one. Wow, T3 Dome. Trying to make it to winner's finals so that we can have a Belmont ditto. That's exactly Are you right. about it? Uh, that's why I came here tonight to see. That's what you came to see? Exactly. All right, well, Dome is I Dome woke, is your man. I woke up this morning saying, I can't wait to go to WNF. I hope to see a Belmont ditto. Well, you've already seen one, but you want a lot more. Oh, yeah. Getting more than I bargained for tonight. <laughs> the final destination is going to be the pick from Razo. So what do you think about this matchup? What do you think about uh, Daisy in general? I think Daisy's a top three character. Oh really? Yeah, I yeah, think tell me more. Very good character. I uh, would not be surprised if Razo makes the accurate adjustments he needs. He's very familiar with this matchup like we were talking about earlier. Uh -huh. But Ra uh, Nitro and T3 don't, don't play the same. You know, we're, we're always seeing a lot of differences. Less holy water in neutral. Uh, Less, you know, calling out jumps with the photo and backers and just setting up with the cross toss and the axes. Mm -hmm. and you can see a lot more aerials coming out from Dome. 
Makes it very hard to approach, whether grounded or in the air. Even trying to float across, Dome it does have a good amount of reach with those uh, those aerials. Being able to tether grab right back to the ledge, and we see the down air into up B and sending Razo to the skies. Yeah, I don't think the stream's over quite yet. I don't, I don't think we're supposed to be going to the skies yet. Well, I mean, someone needs to tell Dome that because looks like he's trying to set up for the same traps. Razo does is able to clip Dome and uh, put Dome back on the ledge. All right, landing back here for Razo. Try to just force him or force Dome off stage, but he's not able to find the strong hit, so it's not really doing a whole lot. Okay, landing a turn up. And now the chase begins for Razo. Oh, the axe does connect. Now we're seeing a lot more holy water setups. Dome's trying to create a wall that Razo has to float over and then convert with axe. Look at that, two axes, because Razo committed to trying to jump over the holy water. All right, and Razo already being lapped in percent right now. T3 Dome looking to make a solid statement here over Razo with a three stock to one lead now. That's right, even putting a little bit of flash on the end of that second stock. Instead of getting the holy water into S-Smash, he did holy water back air. But you know, it does, has Belmont like do this like turn around pose where he like flexes his arm. Yeah, and I actually like that. Oh my noise. God, are you kidding me? We were talking about that setup earlier where he waits for the cross to come back and just because he can get these earlier stocks if you already start halfway into the sky. Okay, look at that, all the damage that was just put onto Razo, but Razo able to clean up the first stock. 88%, that's a good amount of damage. Uh, Holy Water goes for the downer instead. If it, we oh. saw the up air, I think that was it. It might have been it, but you know what? Dome, a man of style, and he wanted to put some style points on the board. Oh, okay, no, no smash. smash. And taking the taking the secure okay. win. Yeah, okay. there's no no need to uh to gamble with that smash. Just take the guaranteed damage, and then you know just reset up your traps. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. That's what he did. You know, Dome looking really strong right now. Looking. We might actually get Belmont Dittos in winners finals. Yeah, I mean, like we were saying earlier, that'll be real exciting for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> My heart. Okay, well, is Raza gonna be able to make the adjustments? We've seen him come back uh, in reverse 3 0 Nitro. Yeah. But how's he been, will he be able to do it against Dome? I think it's going to be very stage dependent. Can he oh, get? Maybe it's character well. dependent. Peach? Because oh, we have oh, Peach coming out. Razo's really serious now. The Peach is out. Now he put the blonde wig on. This is his counter pick now. Running it back to Final Destination saying, Daisy, <laughs> it's not Daisy's best stage, but it might be Peach's. You know, I'm actually going to be really upset if Razo does get the reverse 3 0 because he switched to Peach. And, like, that is the factor that does it. It's uh, not. I don't need. I don't need more Peach. I don't need more Daisy hate hey, and I, I, Peach I propaganda. I, I said I think Daisy's a top two character. I think Peach is a top two character. So. They're exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Prove it. Blondes over brunettes? Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Welcome yeah, hit him with that turn up. Welcome to Cali, bro. <laughs> okay, and the traps continue for Dome. I mean, the... Did put 60% on Dome. Okay, there we go. Great Turn up conversion. Oh, and he cat. He's going to be able to make it back. That's no. It. All right. All right. Now, Russell finally has a lead over Dome. The question is how long it'll last for. Good use of turn up. Throwing it very did that, high. Did that just do 20%? Yes, it did. Turn ups are Crazy. powerful. Some would say too powerful. Maybe a little. Some. Some. Only some. Okay, forward air connects. Now Razo forced to recover again. Ooh, I like the stall, making sure that he has plenty of time to just weave between those axes. Who needs to time something perfectly when you can just wait? Yeah, I mean, let the game do it for you, right? Yeah, all the patience in the world. Oh, is that a dot face? What is that? Ooh. Yeah, it is oh, dot eyes. Oh. Big damage onto Dome. Uh-oh. I'm terrified right now. Peach holding the holy water. Oh, but not able to convert off that holy water. It looked like he put... Uh, Dome in a really bad position, but still chasing him down the other side of the stage and taking the sock with the, with the bomber. Yeah, right now it looks like Peach is the counterpick here for Razo. 
and I don't understand why. The, uh, I need to ask this man why why Peach is like the counter pick. Hey man, what does Peach have that it, Daisy doesn't? It's the ultimate color counter pick. That's like, that's not even fair. That okay, all right. All right. All right. You know, if don't, don't, don't bring it back a little. Even game once again. Yeah, one stock apiece, zero percent. Now, Dome, of course, swatting Razo away as he continues to uh, approach or trying to recover with these aerials. He doesn't have his oh. second jump, so he was kind of forced to just, he really should have went for the ledge, but he just kept pulling forward and he took a good amount of damage for it. But anyways, forward air, connecting, and now, oh! Oh my god, the auto cancel side B into the grab. Razo just zone breaking Dome right now. He gets a hold of the holy water. This could be big for Peach. That's right, putting a good amount of damage, and now it presents just about even. Like the drift back into F tilt dome, continuing to keep uh, keep space between him and Razo, and that's what he really needs to do. Ooh, needs to be looking out for these aerial approaches from Razo now, and the Holy Cross gonna put take all the pressure off from the ledge. Was dropping shield at the wrong moment. Oh my God, he used his jump at the exact perfect time to avoid that down. Uh, not the down, sorry, the turn it. Yeah, now we're seeing a, little, a lot of F tilts come out. Just get rid of that roll option and keep Razo away from you. Back air connects for Dome. And now we see another axe. Here come the traps. Oh my god, he called out the jump, but it was a little bit too early. He had the read on Razo, but now Razo gets one more chance to try and guess correctly. Yeah. Oh. Wait for it. Just beats through uh, Domes. That's right. Forward air connecting again. Now, oh, oh my god, he snipes him with the turn and that's going the winky to be face. Game three. And you know, you I like Dome's reaction. You know, you just gotta laugh it off saying it happens sometimes. He was playing out of his mind towards I'm the mad. end of that game. I'm mad. I'm mad. Peach worked. Of course, Peach worked. He threw the winky face at him. The power of joy. Okay, well, it looks like we have a counter pick coming out. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be Kalos. Oh, Final Destination. Okay. Now, does... Are we going to go back to Daisy? Nope. Stick, keeping the blonde out. Hey, I mean, why would, why would he go back if it's not working for him? The Peach is doing the job. I'm just saying. I am Final Destination... TP Dome going to just run it right back. Let's get my stuff over there. Yeah. I Dome right no, now starting off. Starting off with the down tilt, just not letting Razo breathe, keeping so much pressure onto his shield right now. I Razo rolling on stage. He finally has. Center stage, but with his back to the wall. Oh, Dome is the Holy afraid. Cross interrupted Toad. We saw Toad get activated, and the Holy Cross was like, "Nope, <laughs> sit down, Toad." Oh, and the Holy War that's right. Big lead here for TP Dome on his first stop. That's right. Holy Cross not going to interrupt the grab. Now we see the chase from Razo. Oh, get that tilt, but the Holy Cross not going to be able to combo. Ooh, good dash. Holy Cross into the photo, setting up once again. Razo getting clipped by a lot of these Holy Crosses. Okay, another F tilt. And the axe, ooh, force a directional air dodge. I feel like I'd like to see more grabs coming out from Razo when he gets him, because a lot of time we're seeing him land right in front of T3 Dome's face with like an aerial or something, and then he's getting punished with the cross toss. Did you see the slow approach from Dome? He landed with an aerial, he landed with forward air, and then threw out like three or four F tilts, and then threw out another forward air and just slowly drifted forward while he's throwing out these aerials. Yeah, he's definitely making it difficult for Razo to find his footing, especially when he's, you know, constantly fighting an uphill battle to make it back to the ledge. Do you think Dome only had 65 on his first stock? Razo's gonna have to make a huge comeback, and that's <laughs> how it starts. That's right. Yeah, the, the cross looking very dangerous right there as he did hit Razo on the way back. But now, oh, ooh, here we go, here we Razo go. combos. Peach combos, 43%, not bad. Right, great down air into the Peach Bomber. 
He goes off stage with the photo, but he doesn't find great recovery from Dome. But oh, the Raza really smash. starting to turn it up to 11 right now to try and make this comeback. Okay, converting off the Holy Water with an up air. Okay, now we see another F tilt. And we see a flurry of aerials coming from uh, from Dome. Great flow right there. Dodge the jabs. Get back here and force Dome off stage. Liam with a folder, but it's not going to connect. Nero has shield. Will, and that oh. forces him out. This has been a quick two stocks for Razo, not taking too much damage. That's right. And just uh, spending a little bit of time at the side of the stage, making sure that Dome isn't able to utilize the invincibility that he had. Now down to the connection. Here we go. Big we damage from Razo. Peach combo 57 looks to find the down air and make it more, but he's not going to. Oh, Great the Peach, Peach Bomber! Bomber. The Holy Cross is not effective against the invulnerability of the throw. And Brazo timing his throws uh, greatly just so he make sure that he, he's able to utilize it. But now we see a lot of the whip action coming out. Brazo actually bringing this back to an even game, but now that Dome has his feet on the ground once again, he's going to make it difficult for Brazo to close it out. Okay, expecting the high recovery. And Oak landing that uh, angled forward air. Oh, oh no, the, there it is! Oh, no, he, wait, he fell out! He went over the F tilt! And, and now, okay, Dome's but. jaw is on the floor after that. He was sure he got the victory, but will it be enough? Can he get one more opening? Okay, he has no air dodge. Oh, barely weaving around. Very, very fortunate for Dome. And lands it down there. And what's it gonna be? Another forward air connects onto Razo. Okay, here come the traps. Razo jumping, knows that the Holy Wall was gonna come out. No grab! Back air shield isn't going to do it. Both players stuck at you, and there's the back air, and Razo brings it to a game five, and that was heartbreaking for Dome right there. I mean, Dome really needed to recognize that the way that Raza was trying to take, like pretty much his win condition, he was looking for like a nair or a back air, uh, but he was staying in shield the entire time he was grounded. Yeah. He, Dome could have just backed him. Yeah. Victor has kill for Wait, Daisy's back out. That's right. Because Daisy's the main girl. But Daisy he, number one. He hasn't won a game with Daisy. He's only won the two with Peach. It doesn't matter. It won't, it, you only remember the last game. And if Daisy can win game five, then, you know, Daisy's the girl. I don't know. I, I can't see why he would pick a worse matchup on game number five. <laughs> what, what? Why is it? A, all right, Arkeister. The stats don't lie, man. I'm going to twit longer you. Okay. <laughs> you wait for my twit All longer. that for a drop of clout, man. <laughs> I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, down air connects, and we see the aggressive play from Raza really putting a little, uh, putting some good numbers. Ooh, even clipping the tether grab, but the the daisy bomb a little bit too early. Yeah, and this game's starting off very explosive right now. Already 70, 87 rather onto Dome, but he's looking to answer back onto Raza with these crosses. Mm -hmm, another holy water, and the cross getting stopped in mid air thanks to a turn up. That's the power of vegetables. Back here for Dome, he's saying it once again on the ledge. Here's the axes. Fully want not going to connect. Great roll from Razo. Okay, now we see just like the same approach. It seems that Razo has made the adjustment, but he's still having a little bit of difficulty. Yeah, and those bombers were really starting to come in clutch for him on game number four, where we hadn't seen him use it too often, but now mm -hmm. he's going out there breaking, <coughs> excuse me, breaking Dome's space with it, going out there and edge guarding him with it as well. And that. That turnip going to snipe him out of the tether. That's right. Gets him out of the tether and takes the lead here in game five. Okay. Toad comes out to protect the princess, but he does uh, get hit by a forward air. Now down throw into back air. Easy damage. All right, there's the neutral. Looks for the runoff forward air as well, but no recovery from Dome. Razo falling out of the holy water once again. Oh, and there's the Peach Bomber. We saw Razo get so many stocks on paper like that. Yeah, and you, I kind of feel bad for Dome because when you have that win on game number four and then they just kind of fall out of your moves, it can really kill your momentum. You can't be in the same state of mind he started to set off with. Okay, Eto connects on to Razo. Now we're just set back to, back to the game plan. Set up traps, use the holy water, force Razo to recover high, and then punish. Right, just throwing the whip at him, trying him with like a forward arrow and after or something to get this stock, but 
It's not going to work. That down tilt won't do it. Great float to avoid the axe there from Razo. Mm -hmm. And now Razo's starting to save his floats for a little bit a uh, higher approach. He's even directional. He's even air dodging uh, down on the way down to the to the ground, just so to make sure that he doesn't get hit by any axes. All right, great back air from Dome, but it's still not going to be enough to kill Raza from across the stage. Backwards recovery will do it. Peach, or Daisy can't grab from behind like that. Oh, but you saying Peach can? No. Are you saying Peach can? No. Okay, good. Oh, no. And that's a heartbreaking end for T3 Dome right there. Raza <laughs> just gave us the thumbs up. Yeah, that's right. Daisy! Daisy, yeah. She still won yeah. less games in that. Second. No, it, it doesn't matter. The last game's the only one that matters. <laughs> so, good stuff to Razo. I don't know where he's going because now it's time for winners finals, and uh, he needs to sit back down. Are you jumping on the mic? Is that all right? Yeah, that's that's fine with me. All right, so I'm gonna jump off the mic. Z Flash we got uh, like Belmont Dittos. What? Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. Belmont Dittos. Yeah, mind. I already did Belmont Dittos. What? No, I didn't.